Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at some of the new features in the October 2019 Google Chrome 78. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in this update, we've got four big updates. Uh, the first of which is about 30 plus security vulnerability fixes. So if you haven't updated your Google Chrome already, then definitely do that. In fact, pause the video now, open a new tab and go ahead and do it. Or better still, I'll show you how to do it in a minute. The next thing is the forced dark mode across all web pages. Now this is actually a really, really good addition. And if you've watched the video up here, then you've already seen how to do it and maybe you're using it already, but we're gonna go over it again just for the sake of those that have missed it. The next part of the update is the new tabs features. So you can actually roll over your tabs at the top and you can actually see what the web page is. So rather than having, if you've got like lots and lots of tabs open, rather than just seeing a small message of where the address is and what's going on, you actually get a new tab which tells you more about the sites you've been visiting. And the next one, or possibly one of the most important ones, is the password leak protection or detection. So now there is an option so you can enable this. So if one of your passwords, which is stored in your Google account, has been compromised somewhere on the web, then you'll get a notification and then obviously you can go about changing your password and preventing any further intrusions or hacks. So let's go to the computer and we'll go through them one by one. So the first thing to do, if you haven't already, is go to your Google Chrome from the shortcut. And the first thing we wanna do is to make sure that we've got the latest version. So if we click on the three buttons at the top, or three dots, and then go to help, and then about Google Chrome, and it'll show you the details about Google Chrome. So currently we're on Google Chrome version 78. Uh, if you haven't got this already, there will be an update message there, or it'll say get update, all those kinds of things. So go ahead and do that, and then restart Chrome. So first of all, let's look at something simple. So let's look at the tab section. So with tabs now, when you roll over, gives you an idea of where you've been. So let's open up a, a few tabs here. And on this one, we'll go to there, we'll go to there, we'll go to there. And we'll open up a few different things here. So now on these various pages now, if we roll over, you can see it gives you a much more detailed information about the individual sites. So that's a, a pretty nice addition, and I actually do like the animation there. It's quite a, a nice, smooth animation. So let's close all those down. And now let's go and look at the dark mode. So what you need to do first of all is type in chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in our experimental section, as you can see, I've already got these enabled, but I'll just show you how to do it. So if you type in force dark, I'll bring up force dark mode for web contents. So as you can see, yours will probably say disabled or default. So all you need to do is click on the box and you get the options of which one to use. Now, currently I'm using on enabled. Um, I have tried it on the C-Lab based inversion, but I actually find just putting it on enabled works very well for me. When you do this, you will get a notification in this bottom corner saying to restart Chrome. So that's a nice one. So obviously all the pages now are a lot darker, a lot easier on the eyes. So we've looked at tabs and we've looked at dark mode. So now the next most important one, which I am personally very happy to see, is the password leak protection. So if we look at, type in, in the top here, type in password leak and we get password leak detection. So as you can see, I've currently got this enabled. And to be honest with you, I would imagine that most people really should have this enabled. You've got the choice of default or disabled. Default is, from what I can tell, is actually disabled anyway. So it's essentially a choice of two. So if you leave it enabled, again, you'll get a notification at the bottom saying to restart the browser. But once you've done that, you can then click into the three dots at the top, go to settings, and in your password section, which is in your autofill. You click on passwords, and now you should have the option for check password safety. So this warns you if a password that you've used previously was part of a data breach. Now you've got the option here to toggle this on or off. So if you've got it already off, then make sure you've got it turned on. I'm not entirely sure which engine they use for this, whether it's the uh, Have I Been Pwned engine or whatever, maybe it's a custom engine. At the moment, the details are a bit scarce on that. They've not publicized it, but ideally, it's great because you can just go in. So any of your passwords, which you've got set 
or saved as your Google password section or autofill. If you go to a website and that password is being used, then you'll get notified. And also when you first start up your browser, from what I gather, if your password has been compromised, you will get a notification straight away. Now, I haven't actually seen what the notifications look like, but if you have, let us know in the comments section. I'll be interested to see what they look like. Luckily, at the moment, I haven't had any compromises, so we're all good at the moment. So there you go, there's some new features in the new Google Chrome update, number 78 for October 2019. Uh, let me know, what is your favorite edition? I personally like the password as well. I think that's a really long overdue section. I know Firefox has had its kind of password manager for a while, which does a very similar thing. But for those of us that are using Chrome on a regular basis, it's nice to see these incremental updates add in a lot more features and security to the browser. So I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend.